Thank you so much to Ark and Forge for providing a review code for this video. Link to their product can be found in the description. And now, on to the video. Hey you! Yeah, you! Are you tired of your maps looking dull and boring? I mean, kinda. Well then you should check out Ark and Forge! Wow, really? What can it do? Ark and Forge is a map making tool that allows you to make things animate as well as light things up and make them look to the extreme! Why'd you just suddenly get intense? You can check out Ark and Forge by downloading the app down below. Well, can you pick me up? I'm scared. Ed. Hey. Where'd you go? Hello everybody, Literary DM here. Welcome to my channel where we talk media and literary theory and apply it to tabletop RPGs. And today we're talking about a really amazing map making tool for virtual tabletops, and that is Arc and Forge. Now, when it comes to map making tools and even campaign organizers, they're honestly a dime a dozen. There are plenty out there from Campfire, Incarnate, and the list can honestly go on. Ark and Forge is honestly probably one of the best softwares I have found out there, especially because it is incredibly user friendly and it also can organize your campaign notes. So it's more than just a map making tool, but let's actually start diving deep into what it can actually do. The first thing to note about Ark and Forge is that you will need to download the app. This is not an in browser map making tool like incarnate for example rather than something you have to download so you will need to get something for the desktop but the good news is if you don't have ready access to internet you will still be able to make maps and then later export them to use them on virtual tabletops such as roll 20 boundary and the list can go on but how do we make the maps we can honestly go through very basic you can do color schemes making lines and walls which is a little harder and a little more difficult the bread and butter honestly comes into the packs that you're going to buy. So this is the fact of where Ark and Forge does become a little more of one of the pricey options out there. But I do believe that is actually worth the price because the UI is actually really fantastic. It is very easy to get into and the packs are very thorough. You will be getting your money's worth out of this. That being said, it can get pricey. The good news though is that once you buy a pack, this is directly on their website, you won't need to purchase it again. Once they update that pack, that update is going to go to the app and you're good to go. It's a one-time purchase. You are purchasing this pack forever. And that's a big deal. The reason why I bring this up is because this is honestly very consumer friendly. The support team is readily available to answer any and all questions. So for that alone, they get my support. But the software itself is honestly where it excels and it drives me further to recommending picking up this amazing map making tool. So let's check out some more features. When I first downloaded this and got all the packs down, I thought I got all the packs. So when I started making the maps, I noticed that none of the stamps were available, I figured that I was going to have to go very roundabout way of getting them, which honestly caused me to think that maybe the UI was actually more intense than I initially thought. And then I realized, nope, it was a slight glitch in trying to download all the packs at once. And I want to say that's probably on me more so than it is the app. But that being said, this is a glitch that I didn't notice and I do think it is worth mentioning. You will need to download the packs one at a time as by best recommendation, unless your PC can handle it and then by all means go ahead and do so. That being said, I did have a lot of packs to download. So there's a lot of reasons as to why that glitch happened. And the reason why I say you want to buy the packs is because honestly, it's not just fantasy focused. There's also science fiction and cyberpunk, and even holiday themed packs. So as you can see here, with me being an absolute mango of a human being trying to figure out this very easy to use UI system before I figured out it was my computer that was the problem rather than me, but still that defines me as a human mango, that I was able to actually 
access some of the cyberpunk and more science fiction looking maps. So if you're running something more akin to Shadowrun or Cyberpunk 2020 or maybe even Cyberpunk Red, then honestly, this is another good tool. You are going to get a lot of use out of it outside of just fantasy. Which again, is another reason why it gets a major recommendation from me. It has a wide variety of genres out there, not just fantasy. That being said, this can cost a decent amount of money. So if you really wanted to have a good map making tool for a cheaper price, then I would recommend either one waiting for when Ark and Forge has sales on, which they do rather frequently, or you can honestly use something like Incarnate. The downside with Incarnate is that it is honestly fairly difficult to get the hold of. You can make the maps look really good, but the learning curve for Incarnate in comparison to Arkham Forge is intense. They don't have the tools that Arkham Forge does, which makes sense because Incarnate is free. And even for a yearly subscription with Incarnate, you're not going to be getting the same quality of maps. But still, if you are tight on a budget, then I do recommend that site. However, if you are willing to spend the, the money or you have the finances or the capability to do so, then I highly encourage Ark and Forge. I don't think I have been this excited about a product in quite some time. This is the map that I made. This is the second map that I actually made on stream, believe it or not. And I loved it. We created this, the Wake Up Call Tavern, due to the gravestones in the back, and it's having an alcohol so strong it could wake the dead. And I'm gonna be honest, I really want to use this tavern in a game. Sounds like a fun time. And to me, that's a sign of a good map. It invokes wonder and potential plot points. And I did that by making this map on Arkham Forge. Now you can do that with any map making software. Arkham Forge is not alone on that. But honestly, the fact that this was my second map ever, and it honestly doesn't look half bad, it has a lot of atmosphere to it, to me, means that it's doing a lot more right than it is wrong, and that it is incredibly easy to use. So if you're able to, I highly encourage picking up Ark and Forge. Well, everyone, that's the video for today. I hope it was helpful for you in some way, shape, or form, and you decide whether or not you want to pick it up. If you enjoyed today's video, then please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. All that helps the channel grow, as well as lets me know if you want to see more content like this. But until next time, everybody, Keep going, guys.